Drytron gimmick puppets all the way to trick stars and tachyon. This is quite the week for business. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, that subscribe button, and ask for every one of these market watches. Please leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about today's market. We're going to be using a lot of time to deep dive into some of the, the, the interesting things. So as of filming this, Lycorises are coming in at about 22. I see that we're already, oh nope, our, our upward tick has already began. You're probably going to see these settle at about probably $30 later on in the day. Um, I do want to give a, a quick shout out here to the Trickstar token. Um, as per a lot of these archetypes, you've already got movements starting on this, so you might want to pay attention to these. We've noticed that more specific niche tokens along the way tend to have higher wants and higher values, and I'm not really all that surprised to be, you know, seeing that. And, you know, this Lycoris beginning here is uh, kind of crazy. I mean, like, but Lycoris is kind of like your highest ceiling card in terms of your rarities for the stuff, right? Tricks reincarnations, upward tick has already started to begin with the new stuff. You're probably going to see these hit. I want to say maybe seven to eight dollars. We'll have to wait and see. It depends how much people want to go crazy over this sort of stuff. Uh, Devardias here are linked to. These are coming in about twos. Starfoil Candina is coming in about twos as well. Lily Bell is coming in a nice fresh about two dollars. For these to be fair there's not a lot of trick star stuff that you need to like witness going terminal at least in terms of you know your value um i mean like candina is like the highest thing you got your decision on which light stages do i really want to play and then oh no coral beans a nice dollar all right it you do have niche like weird rarities like the crimson heart here which is cool and it is a shonen jump magazine promo we saw what you know gimmick puppets did to grinding up their side of the market with this and then of course like i said late stages this card has so many printings it's not gonna do anything really too crazy to kind of set things off but yeah just keep an eye on the token keep an eye on maybe holly angel and maybe like some of the some of these cards have too many listings like 183 listings this i don't foresee that going up you know trickstar token and your more niche selective rarities wow black cat bat here is already kind of low you know it's interesting we'll, we'll just say that i just i don't see a world where this stuff goes really too crazy but we'll wait and see speaking of uh crazy as of yesterday morning we we deep dived into gimmick puppet stuff and we talked about this uh these are these were so cheap yesterday like these things destroyed themselves in value 23 23 23 and the gimmick puppet trends just uh, this is this is bad one of these did populate for eight bucks that's cool meanwhile gimmick puppet of leo over here 15 15 and 8 yeah once again you have two shonen jump magazine promos that are gaining some sort of immense crazy value like it's genuinely kind of impressive uh, and then of course puppet grinder over here for the secret are coming in at eight dollars you know you could have put this on the correct listing but what do i know um we also have this magnet doll situation here that's right that's a common from immortal destiny that is now five dollars all right you have yeah that's i i kid you not this thing actually hit five dollars this does make sense to, to be one of the ones that probably does see some sort of reprint along the way but that's terrible biscay doll fifty dollars now as well like holy crap yesterday these cards were super affordable and then today they're just both cratered like that's actually terrible uh the wow the c40 these are still kind of holding about two dollars i'm actually very happy to see that all right uh, well i mean oh this is also still cheap only 15 listings wow holy crap the Link 2 had 100 plus listings yesterday, and they took it down to 18, and they made it into a $3 card. This market, I, I'm impressed. I really am. That's pretty freaking funny. Uh, Puppet Disaster of Leo is $2. The Giant Hunter's coming in at about 4 to 5 
And then of course the hollow magnet doll is about 14, 10 to 10 to 14 to 15 dollars per copy of that. So um, what what are you getting out of this? These cards are expensive now. Like I, I'm I'm in good job community. You shattered my expectations for what you could do to the values of cards. Like it's actually pretty crazy just to see, you know, even the common jury dolls, 26 listings now. And of course, Terror Baby kind of creeping on up. Wow. Okay, Argent Chaos Force. You know, I figured that there'd be a lot more damage done to this one because the gold one does look a little bit better. You do see your uptick here, but you're genuinely sitting at about two to three dollars. You can honestly pick these up a little bit cheaper. It's not gonna hurt you too crazily bad. In my opinion, there's still 327 listings of this thing with a nice, uh, I see. They were really trying to destroy the, somebody bought 50 at 20 cents a piece. There's too many on the market. It's not gonna happen. No time soon. Uh, so you can, in some fun, crazy methods of this uh, deck, you can technically Argent Chaos rank up into C1000. Um, I hate this gold rare version of this card so much. Can we get a regular ultra version of this? If you were somebody trying to play some super cheese terrible methods of Yu-Gi-Oh out here, and I mean like the absolute terrible, all right, then you can play this to rank up and then you can try to pop it and make CI1000. Uh, just to uh, try to laugh at your opponent, uh, which is kind of cool, actually. But both of these cards, I, I once again, I'm going to preface this and say, this idea is not good, all right? This is not a good idea. But if you enjoy gimmicky Yu-Gi-Oh! and you love trying to come up with some of the, the craziest little ideas you can, there you go. Oh, hey, look, Pain Gainer. Isn't this cool? three dollars and then 15 cents for the common that's I, I am glad that, like the the reprint of this is down a little bit let me tell you what's not doing too well though the ravenous tarantula that for whatever reason didn't get the reprint this thing is still 16 dollars like why did we I, I i'm asking you why did you reprint two of the three like this still makes no sense to me at all and then seven sins coming down the line here still four dollars on its gold your counterpart you're looking at probably about a dollar actually for the other version of this which is actually you know i guess it's doable you know what i mean Toon cards. You guys know that Toon Cannons boxes are still two hundred and fifty plus dollars. Toon Cannon soldiers, by the way, you can get heavy plays for like one fifteen. Yeah, good luck. On them, Toon Chaoses are one forty. It's still freaking funny to me. Um, Toon Table of Contents, the TP versions. These are somebody bought a near mint for one ten. Good stuff. They well, got infinite versions back here in the not good shape. Yeah, look at about one fifteen for near mint. That's actually. Kind of crazy to think about, actually, for your tune stuff. Oh, yeah, the, the magic ruler. <laughs> the, the first ed of this. Let me tell you. Actually, did this even come in first ed? You can get damaged. 220 for mod play. Wow. Um, near Mint's about $400 now for this. <laughs> and that's, that's so crazy to think about in terms of, you know, just being one of the more iconic cards in the game. Nobody really thinks to keep an eye on that thing. Toon Kingdom, Ultra Pharaoh's Rares, it's $88. And then, of course, the Toon Black Luster Soldier CR is coming in about 60 bucks. Why are we looking at Toon stuff? Well, I've always got a fascination for Toon cards. Uh, the Ultra Toon Dark Magician from Speed Duel, by the way, these are 30 bucks, 36 um, It's just kind of something to keep a little bit of an eye on. Pharaoh's Tour Collectible Commons are $14 lowest right now. That's actually pretty freaking cool to see. All right, oh, yes, the Toon Blue Eyes Funko Pop. The Toon Cyber Harpy, or the, yeah, Harpy Lady here, $22. Toon Kingdom Ultimates. You can now get Spanish versions for 16 and French versions for 16. That's actually kind of cool. Toon Bookmarks, still kind of floating a little bit low here. But yeah, most of your Toon stuff is kind of doing its thing. Now, something else I saw that was really cool on the market, an actual Master Collection 2. Uh, volume 2 binder is up. Now this is very expensive, it's $700, but this is just one of those weird little things you see on the market, you're just like, 
Those are in circulation right now? Yeah, oddly enough. So that's everything for today's market. There will be a lot more to come, trust. So please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.